How's it going, you guys? We are about to do our Christmas light show tour for you guys, whatever it may be, and I am so excited. Some of the lights look like they're flickering, like these ones right here, because they are LED. Um, but I'm putting the finishing touches around the property with all of the lights and everything, and I'm so excited to show you guys. This actually hasn't been a super crazy year with the decorations. It usually we go a little bit crazier. Um, this year felt like it needed to be a little cleaner and simple, and um, I needed it to be less work. <laughs> so this year is easy, mellow, and I cannot wait to show you guys our property. I'm gonna show you guys Ashley's property, and I'm gonna take you around the neighborhood and show you a couple of the other properties that are in our little neighborhood vicinity. Everyone so far is pretty much decorated, except with the exception of a few people. Um, and I don't think that they're going to be decorated anytime soon, so not worried about it, but it looks so good in the entire neighborhood. So I'm going to finish up the little finishing touches that I used to do to make sure everything is all straight and looks good. And I think Ashley is also finishing up with one more blow up that she's putting up right now on her property. So it's all coming together and it's all looking so good. And I will show you guys in just a second what it looks like at night time. So let's go. All right, you guys, let me turn the camera around and show you guys how it looks at nighttime. <laughs> so this is the light tour at night. Like I said, we kept it pretty simple. So let's start over at the driveway. So when you first drive up, I did put this star on this side of the fence. And then the driveway, we have these lights, which actually used to be the lights that we used on the roof last year, but I didn't like how far apart they were spaced, so I used them here to do like a swoopy thing, and we have them going in an arch, we have the tree wrapped there, and then I bought new lights to line the roof this year, and every single one of those has a clip, so that's how they're like perfectly evenly spaced. We went ahead and lined the window, and then we swooped this fence here, and then we just kind of wrapped lights around the bushes. And if we come over here, you can see the arbor. I think it looks so, so pretty. We did the little candies on it and then wrapped the lights around that. And same thing, little bush light and a couple lights over there. You can see there's my neighbor Karen's house. She has a couple other lights besides that one. But if we come in here, we have a couple of these Christmas trees right here and the front porch. Wait, wait for the lights to change. And the front porch. We've got the hanging snowflakes and the garland and candy canes everywhere. And then I'm gonna show you guys quickly over at Karen's house. Her house is kind of, um, it's simple this year because her daughter did have surgery. So they've got a couple little blow ups and some lights and some lights along the house. So they're just lightly decorated. Their daughter, Natalie, who um, she usually does all the decorating for Christmas, she had surgery. And so she wasn't able to decorate like crazy. So we're gonna head over to Ashley's house to hear Mason. Your yard looks so good. Are Someone, you proud of it? Yes. Someone else has that rooster though. That's In town? Right over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so there's okay. two giant roosters in town now. Well, it looks good. And this swoop that you did, how long did it take you to do that? whole day yeah you spent a lot of time decorating here it looks really really good you've been messing with the frosty though frosty you had <laughs> she had it on the cargo container over there and then you moved it to the backyard yeah. by the chicken coop and today you moved it yes. <laughs> to the front yard <laughs> well it looks so good so you can see, look at her window. She has Santa Claus in the window. You can see here's our house in the corner over there. This is one of her newest ones also. <laughs> the little farm, she got a whole farm this year. She got this farm set and the giant chicken. And coming over this way is still so many more. I think this swoop thing that she did turned out so pretty. These are actually broomsticks from the Dollar Tree and then garland from Hobby Lobby or Home Goods, one of the two. And so she did a really good job and lots and lots of lights, absolutely massive blow ups everywhere. Here's one of the other neighbors that decorated. This is Amy's house. 
Amy's house looks so good. She has a couple gloves. You can see Ashley's house back there. <laughs> and then she has lights that go on the side of her house also. She did a really good job. And then these are our other neighbors. And um, I'm surprised that they decorated, but I'm so excited that they did. These are the people that live on the corner from us and they did a great job also. And this is one street over from us. And these guys decorate for every holiday and they do such a fabulous job with the multi-strand lights. And then right next door, this is John and Lauren's house. And he always does a great job decorating for holidays. You can see he's got some of the like lights up in the tree there and this one that's multi-changing and the border pathway he also does a really good job so you guys can see that the entire neighborhood really gets into it um there's a few homes that don't put up anything but for the most part everybody's got at least something up and some of the home some of the homes that are on corner lots even decorate their backyard and so you can see things that are in their backyard because they've got like an open back to it and so that's really cool um you know our other a lot of the other neighbors decorated barbara she put up a christmas wreath that's got lights on it heiss he has red lights caleb and olivia they have lights up on their trees and things like that so our whole neighborhood really does get into it even if they try to keep it simple um so it's it makes the whole neighborhood feel really festive and i have such a good time having a competition with ashley and mason about who decorates the best i think that they definitely beat us this year though so that is going to be it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed the christmas light tour we kept it very simple this year um and maybe next year we'll go even crazier like i said one year we ended up writing joy in cursive on the roof and we went all out so it's a good time here and i hope you guys have a good holidays i'll see you all in the next video bye guys brent made hot chocolate and so we're gonna drive to chico really quick and i'm gonna take you guys to one of the like best neighborhoods in town that they have um well it's not in our town <laughs> it's in chico um but it's north side of chico and um i will put the address or the neighborhood that it's in. If you guys wanna go check it out, um, I'll put it in the description. I don't know it off the top of my head, Brent knows how to get there. <laughs> but the light show that they have there every single year is amazing and we try to check it out every year. So we have hot cocoa and we're gonna go look at some more Christmas lights now.
we are back home now and that was so much fun the lights it was it was crazy some of those were absolutely insane it was really fun to go drive around and see that took us probably about an hour to get through um driving that whole area which it was a lot of fun it was totally worth it so if you guys are in the area the road was called songbird um highly recommend checking it out um or if you're more north i also highly recommend checking out the reading light show it's at turtle bay or sundial bridge that one's also really cool we went to that this year um we just love looking at christmas lights <laughs> so that is going to be it for this video you guys i hope that you enjoyed it thanks for coming along with us and checking out our neighborhood and another neighborhood that we enjoy going and seeing i will see you guys all in the next video bye guys mm -hmm.